Hello, hi. If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. All right, cool, enjoy the video. The other thing that I want to talk about on stream today was uh, Kick Green Twitch, as I have taken to calling it because it, it's just that. It's Twitch with a different coat of fucking paint. TLDR, for however long this segment winds up being, I don't think Kick is going to make it to the end of the year. I genuinely don't think that it will. And the reason behind me saying that is because light years of controversy coming out against the website already. I believe that there's like lawsuit after lawsuit and, and, and many, many other things that are gonna happen before the end of the year that's going to contribute to the site no longer existing. And when I think about it, I kind of feel bad for the people that are like going over to kick and are trying to um, put their all into kick because kick came out swinging talking about like, oh, it's super easy to monetize over here. 95, five uh, money cut. When you are able to monetize, you can get stuff like subs and shit immediately and whatever. You know, it's a whole bunch of really cool bells and whistles. However, the things that comes with those bells and whistles are like not very good in my opinion. Because there, there is so little moderation over there that there, there shouldn't even... There's no point in having a moderation team with how much shit goes on over there. Like, there's been plenty of instances of people just streaming <laughs> There have been plenty of instances of people just getting fucking drop dead naked. There have been instances of <laughs> being willingly streamed to minors with no like 18 plus indication to show on stream as like the safety net or whatever um the top categories is the fucking it's 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 just chatting it's the slots thing it's um gta rp and whatever else and what what really is there to like market the website with outside of the outrageously easy way to monetize yourself you know not not to mention the fact that it's ran by train wrecks and uh the people behind that 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 gambling website stake like they're behind it too and oh yeah that's the other big category the fucking slots crap that got banned off twitch which led to train wrecks not streaming on twitch anymore because he he couldn't fucking gamble and whatever and then not to mention the the the, the walking train wreck that is aiden ross just existing on the website and that 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 guy has been on some some level of uh Jeez, I don't even know what to fucking call it. The the weird rodeo that psycho has been on. And it's like it I, I really don't see it lasting very long. And hell, I'm surprised that it's survived as long as it has at the time of me talking about it in you know the segment on my stream. Yeah, I'm surprised that it lasts it has lasted as long as it did given you know like i said the shit that then went down on it already the whole thing about but the fucking a 95 uh five cut is really cool but where is the money to actually sustain the site coming from like what is what what is that where where is this massive massive well of money at dude um where where is the the things in place to 
actually cement uh, worthwhile traffic because in conjunction with the whole um, thing I said there's like no moderation there anyway it's I don't want to use the term the Wild West of streaming but their sure as shit is just like people saying and doing whatever the fuck and I don't watch anything on the site as, as like a viewer I look at things uh, from other people as like oh this is happening that's happening like it's like it's like a, a research perspective if you will um, because I'd, I'd rather not um, give oh anyone uh, on the site some watch time just based off of the people that I've seen because those whole like those e-dating streams or whatever that people do to to me they were never any semblance of interesting and um i i got curious because they apparently put out like a clips feature for the website and that was cool so i'm like oh that's neat i wonder how it is it's it's an exact copy of twitch and the other thing too is i'm like if you ask me the site is just incel city like not not even not even trying to use it as a buzzword. You know those videos or those clips of guys being the absolute worst hedonistic whatever failures of humanity towards women and whatnot and just saying saying and doing whatever to get some kind of reaction or to just get them to strip or to do whatever the fuck. Yeah, that's that's all over uh, kick. That's what a large majority from what I've seen so far of the guy streamers on there. And there's this, there's like, I want to call it counterfeit Omegle that people use on there too. And the moment they don't get exactly what they ask for, well, not ask, what they shout and scream and piss and whine for her then they started being like you know bitch this bitch that yada 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 like i said incel shit actual incel shit if i weren't to use the term incel i would say like your typical college frat boy movie type cult god damn it culture just that alone is already a detriment to the website because, like I said, it's it's mostly just chatting, gambling, DTRP, um, and of course, you know the hot tub stuff. But the 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 just chatting in the hot tub stuff is way way worse than what it is on Twitch, because you got people that are just like actually going out of their way to be as close to clothesless as possible. Without just being flat out like, like flashing or showing or whatever and shit. Like, I know people remember the whole quote unquote meta of, oh, ASMR people or just chatting, um, women, uh, streamers would just have their ass in the camera and people would be mad. Like, oh, look at that. They're getting all the attention from doing nothing. That's. That's just what's actually happening on Kick. Like, unironically, that is that is exactly what's going on on Kick for a lot of the um, hot tub and pool and just chatting, whatever the hell, over there. And it, it, it's pretty much a safe haven, I'd say, for people who don't want to do anything and just want to make a quick buck that's where they fucking go like if you if you want to if you want to stream without rules that's what people will go on twitch i mean go on kick for yeah kick is just green twitch without moderation that has <coughs> countless things uh stacked up against it that will contribute to its 
very fast downfall. I feel bad for the people who like go over there and they think that oh this this is it. This is gonna be the thing that you know kicks off my career <laughs> kicks off my career or you know helps me get an audience or community or whatever. Um, you know, they make money off of that, and when it all comes crumbling down because of the shit that keeps happening on there, then they're either gonna have to go back to YouTube or go back to Twitch or whatever other fucking platform they were streaming on, and... The reason I say I feel bad is because, number one, that could have been a good thing for them. It is incredibly difficult to get an audience to go to a different platform anyway. Like, hell, I, I make TikToks and all that shit, and I'm like, hey, you know, blah, 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 you can see, you can see me live and whatever. It's, it's. A little tough trying to get people to move audiences, and that's just fuck I tell you. But that's a whole like other fucking conversation. But, like even getting people to move from Twitch to YouTube or YouTube to Twitch is uh, a bit of an arduous task. And the people that enjoy the absurdities of kick and the lack of moderation. Both like an auto mod and um, streamer to chat moderation. The people that enjoy that, they're not gonna go to places like Twitch or YouTube because they can't. They can't get away with whatever they've been getting away with on Kick. You know. You can't sit up and spam the hard R in chat and, and have nothing happen to you. You can't. You can't sit up and say. In a general uh, Twitch chat, they're like, oh, you hate women. Um, you want to, you know, and, 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 and abuse and, you know, put, do, do a little bit of tape. Taking part in the chaos and the lack of moderation and, and, and honestly, like, the free fucking nudity that you can get on kick is uh, not going to happen on YouTube or Twitch. Because that shit, that, that, that shit will get shut down. Uh, kind of fast. Maybe not as fast on Twitch because you know how fucking Twitch is with that shit. But trying to do that shit on YouTube? Hell no. Trying to do that shit on Twitch for an extended period of time? Hell no. But just seeing the gradual downfall of the website is uh kind of disappointing. And that's not to say that I had hope in the site from the beginning. Because, you know, with all new platforms, it's like, oh, okay, this looks a little cool. I'll keep an eye on it or whatever. But then, seeing the shit that just casually happens on it, I'm like, nah, I'm good on that. And you know, for the people who make a name for themselves over there, unfortunately, just like how I got done talking about earlier, um, they're gonna be forever associated with a website that just let things happen for the sake of letting things happen and i don't think i would want to be associated with that it's it's it, it it's one step away from, from what i've seen over the course of a few hours with my own eyes on kick the website is like a few steps away from being uh a, a, a cam site damn near a a a, a an incel centric campsite i'll say that incel in the sense of like dudes just doing and saying whatever for you know the content and being like like not even ironically misogynistic or like trying to or trying to make a dark joke out of it they, i'm talking about like full forced 4chan levels of misogyny type shit goes on on kick and that shit is not conducive to a long-lasting uh streaming service because i don't think there's very many people who go to kick for 
for the website and to watch like most people just for the sake of watching them right i don't think there are many people that use kick for that now are there people who um go to kick because a content creator they've been watching for a while decides to use it oh yeah of course there's plenty of people that do that but i don't think that there's a whole lot of people for that purpose but uh yeah i don't i don't think kick is gonna kick is gonna see the end of the year for many many different reasons and i feel bad for the people that are gonna have to go back to a platform that they turned down or didn't like or rejected um or kick feel bad for them